Hello. Today we will discuss how to use our built-in function xbarrel fact. It's a very important function because it will allow you to pull xbarrel data into your existing Excel templates and financial models without really modifying them. So it provides you with a lot of flexibility in continuing using your previous Excel files. We suggest you to download this example DuPont analysis from our website and just follow the tutorial looking at the template. We'll start by selecting the list of all functions and explaining where to find xbarrel fact function. It's going to be located in the category xbarrel analyst with several other functions. Today we'll discuss just xbarrel fact. Once you click it, you get this menu where uh, you see the function has four required parameters and one optional parameter. We'll go one by one over every parameter. But to make this explanation simpler, we select a predefined function already. And let's just overview uh, the parameters that we entered. The first parameter is the ticker or CIK code of the company. CIK stands for Central Index Key. And the parameter is referring to the cell D2 where we enter the ticket ticker of the company. Second parameter is a financial concept, XBRL tag or TEED. We call TEED the built-in financial concepts that we'll review later on. You can always find the list of all financial concepts that we defined in XBRL analyst here by clicking view all definitions. And you are probably already familiar with that list from our previous tutorials about the reports. The third parameter we come back to is girl fact is the fis fiscal year. We refer to the cell D3 and then the fiscal period. You can see that our parameter tag is actually uh, a reference to the cell G2. Know that uh, in XBRL Analyst, all fin built in financial concepts are defined and marked with square brackets. So, by simply entering a financial term or some definition in the square brackets, you tell XBRL Fact function to look for it in our database. And again, you can find all these terms in the list of financial concepts, including those that you may define yourself. We'll have a separate tutorial about how to use these definitions and create your own definitions. So in this particular case, Excel fact returns the company name. In another example below, Excel fact returns the revenue because the second parameter refers to cell D6 where we enter the term revenue in square brackets and so on and so forth where the terms don't have square brackets it's some excel formula as an example you can see here what we do we calculate the difference between the revenue minus cost of revenue minus cgna and minus operating income and obviously what's left is all other operating expenses. Another example is interest expense and other. It's another Excel formula. So basically what this example demonstrates that you can use Excel fact as part of some more complex calculations. And as you go, you can review every and each cell in the result we obtain such useful uh, ratios as return on equity, PE ratio, and PEG ratio. We can use now this template to review the performance of this company, Capstone Paper and Packaging Corporation, in the next quarter, quarter number two. For that, we just need to change the quarter name. And as you could see, all the values have been updated and the PEG ratio has increased a bit. You can as well change the name of the company. Let's change it to another company. 
as you can see all the cells have been updated including the company name now it's Nina paper company you can change the year basically this demonstrates how you can change uh, all the outputs of uh, this template by simply changing the in several input cells. All XBRL fact functions entered in different cells will automatically pull new results and update the whole template. And for example, for this company, the peg ratio is uh, very small, which is a positive indicator. We can have a quick uh, analysis uh, of the peg ratio for different companies. With this, we conclude our tutorial.